Hey! All right, coming through. Look, there are some walrus pups. They don't have much room either. There must be another place that the mums can take care of them. What's that growling sound? It's another polar bear. And this one looks hungry. Oh, the walruses don't seem too happy either. They're starting to stampede. Watch out, guys. Don't squash the little ones. They're heading into the water. Coming through. Oh. Oh. oh, now what? They can't stay in the water all day. And they can't go back on land with that polar bear still hanging around. What are they going to do? Wait a second. Icebergs! That's it! They're all climbing onto little icebergs. They must feel much safer from the polar bears on there. And they won't get squashed by all the other walruses. So that's what we need back at Safari World. More icebergs. Oh, hang on. It looks like they don't want to share. Oh, it's Jen. Hi, Jen. Well, I think I might have the answer, Jen. We need more icebergs. Icebergs? I've got an idea. I can adjust the temperature here in the Arctic Dome, which will create icebergs. Great. Sounds like a plan. It doesn't help me here, though. That mum and her pup have nowhere to go. Andy, my scans indicate there's an iceberg not being used just over to your right. Oh, I see it. Thanks, Jen. Over here, you two. There's a nice little iceberg for you both. Come on. Yes, this will be perfect. Come on, you two. That's it. Over here. Oh, oh look. Mum's using her tusks to pull herself up. Oh, how clever is that? Come on, little one. You can do it. Yes, made it! They'll be nice and safe up here. Great! I think I'll dry off first and then head back to Safari World. See you later, walruses. Wait for me. It's certainly quick. I wonder what scared it. Uh-oh. I know what. It's a pyjama shark. And they like to eat octopus. You can see why it's called a pyjama shark. It looks like it's wearing stripy pyjamas. Huh. A bit like Mr. Hammond. Wait a minute. That's it. Our octopus back at Safari World must have mistaken Mr. Hammond for a real-life pyjama shark. Oh. If I can find out where this octopus is going to hide, then my mystery will be solved. <laughs> Wait for me! Quick! It's coming! We need to take cover! Um, oh, over there! The shark's coming. You can't stay out in the open. Huh? What's it up to with those shells? Shells won't protect you from a shark, surely. Whoa! Are you seeing what I'm seeing? The octopus has suction pads on its tentacles, and it's using them to hold up the shells all around it. It's hidden in plain sight. Now that is a great idea. I need a shell, and fast. Oh, there's one. 
That'll do nicely. Ah. Ah. That's better. I hope this works. That's amazing. The pajama shark must be really confused. It can probably smell us, but it can't see us anywhere. It's just swimming around in circles. Look! Yes! It's leaving! It didn't see us! Out you come, buddy! I'll just pop that back. See you later, Octopus! Thanks for showing me how you hide. Hide? Wait a minute. That's it! The octopus back of Safari World must be hiding under a pile of shells just like this one did. I've got to tell Jen. <gasps> oh no. The shark's coming back. And I've been spotted. I need to get out of here. Setting Aqua Pack to high speed mode. Here goes. Opening dive hatch. Oh, it's a lot colder up in the mountains. But the river here is packed full of salmon, which means... Yes! Oh, Mr. Hammond wasn't kidding. There are hundreds of bald eagles here. Now, if I'm going to get close without scaring them, I need to be smaller. <laughs> Engage shrink mode. Great. Let's go. Hello. This is a young bald eagle. They have these dark feathers until they're five years old. Oh, I think she's got her eye on the salmon. Fish are the main part of a bald eagle's diet. They use those giant talons to grab them from the water. Oh! Oh, she's got one! Well done! Uh-oh. Watch out. Hey, you big bunny, why don't you catch your own dinner? <laughs> don't worry, my feathered friend. Let's see if we can sneak over and get you a piece of that salmon. He does it. Almost there. Wait, it's another adult eagle. Look out! See, I told you they can be aggressive, especially when it comes to food. Now's your chance, my friend. Slip in there while they're not looking. Yes! <laughs> That'll teach you not to steal somebody else's dinner. Well done, my friend. Look! In all that squabbling, one of the eagles has lost a feather. Quick! Back to normal size. Let's go. This will be perfect for Mr. Hammond's collection. That looked like a flying fish. This is bizarre. Come on. I need to investigate. Thanks for the love. These 
use a large predatory fish called trevally. It says here that they usually eat squid, crabs and other fish. I don't want to add myself to that list. I'd better get back to normal size. Whew, I'll be safe now, but I'm not sure about the young terns. It looks like these trevally have learned to leap out of the water to try and catch them whilst they're learning to fly. Maybe that's what happened to Jen's camera. It flew too close to the water and a trevally grabbed it. it. Must be on the surface. Come on. Now, where's that camera? Oh no, it's my young friend. He's landed in the water. If he doesn't get airborne again soon, he's gonna end up as fish food. I need to warn him. Oh, there's no time to rest. You need to fly. Remember, like this. Go on, you can do it. Keep going. You're nearly there. I was close! It looks like he's got the hang of flying now. He and the other young turns will be safe way up there. Right, where did that bird cam get to? Ah, there it is. I'd better go and grab it before a trevally does. Ah, ah, got it! Ah, I'd better call Jen. Jen, I found your bird cam. You'll never guess what happened to it. What, Andy? It was knocked out of the sky by a leaping fish called a trevally, who mistook it for a real sooty turn. Wow, I never knew a fish could do that. Neither did I. Right, I'm relaunching it for you now. You should be getting a signal any moment, Jen. Thanks, Sandy. If I fly it a bit higher than before, then hopefully it'll be safe from any more acrobatic fish. Good idea. And just in time, Mr. Hammond's talk is about to begin. I'll start the live stream straight away. And I'd better head back to the safari, sir. See you later, my feathered friends. Remember to fly high. Oh, oh, those baby fish certainly seem to be enjoying all the bubbles. I wonder if they've seen the cichlid I'm looking for. I'll go and ask. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh. Uh, hello, everyone. Can I just ask you? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, can I ask you a question? Whoa, this is fun. I can see why you like it. Uh, anyway, uh, like I was saying, uh, has anyone seen a cichlid around here with a big black spot on its side? <laughs> oh, wee. oh, where are you going? I didn't mean to scare you. Come back. I wonder where they're going. Come on, let's follow them. From up here, they look just like ants. Oh, wait, there's something up ahead. Ah, that must be Mum and Dad. Wait a minute. Small yellow fish with a black spot on the side? It's the cichlids I'm looking for. Hello, you two. Most species of cichlids are excellent parents. They keep a close eye on their youngsters, or fry, as infant fish are sometimes called, until they're big enough to look after themselves. They've got quite a way to go yet, though. Right, now to get the photo I need. Uh, would you mind backing up a bit, please, so I can get you all in? Just a bit more. And can you turn to your side so I can see the spot, please? Ah, perfect. Thank you. Right. Focus. And... Huh? Was it something I said? Oh, no. It wasn't me. It was that stingray I saw earlier. Hey, wait for me! A stingray would definitely gobble up those fry. I'm glad Mum and Dad saw it coming and led their babies to safety. Wait. What's it doing? It looks like it's burying itself in the sand. 
Of course, that's how stingrays camouflage themselves when they want to launch a surprise attack. I need to warn the cichlids. Watch out, Mum and Dad. There's a hungry stingray hiding back there. Uh-oh, it's on the move again. And it's coming this way. Swim for it, cichlids! Swim! Oh, why aren't they swimming away? No, not that way, Dad. Whoa! He's taking on the stingray. That is one feisty little fish. He's done it! I told you cichlids were good parents. Right, at last I can get my photo. Smile! Got it! 